Good morning, and welcome to bright and sunshiny Winnipeg. Yep, this is the weather we like. Anyway, uh, it's pizza day, and it is also episode 2000 of the model ship. Yeah, who would have thought when I started this five and a half years ago now, and when I lugged my model table up the stairs, I'll see if I can find the, the clip and stick it in. This used to be uh, our so-called banquet table. Whenever the family all got together and we needed extra room around the table, this went up the stairs and we could uh, seat about 12 people around it. Mind you, some of them were kids, so they didn't take up a whole lot of room. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be using this for the tabletop for the workstation, for the, uh, the model, model workstation or whatever you call it. And, uh, yeah. Now I've, uh, screwed a handle on here. Used to be, I used to be able to just pick this up and carry it up the stairs. A lot of things it used to be. I wish I could turn the clock back to the last time I carried this upstairs. Yeah, family was all together. My wife hadn't been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and you know the story. Anyway, I'm stalling for time here because it, it hurts. <laughs> able to squeeze through there a lot easier too. Something happened here. Yeah, who would have, who would have thought we'd have made it to episode 2000? Uh, you know, I would have, someone had have asked me, I would have said, well, it's possible, but not too likely. <laughs> okay, and we won't deal with that. Oh, how many times have you heard me say, if you keep your eye on the blade, you won't stick your finger in the blade? Well, I stuck my finger in the blade this morning when I was cleaning up the kitchen counter. The sharp, the, the sharp butcher knife was laying there and I guess I was not paying attention. I obviously was not looking at the blade. I sort of knew where it was on the, my peripheral vision and I just was grabbing stuff and, and I nicked my finger. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, the sunrise this morning, it, it was not... A traditional sunrise. I got to see it as it came up over a bank of clouds. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to have a nice sunrise video at the end of today's episode like we sometimes do. Uh, I have not seen the walkers yet, but I'm sure they came by. I'm probably going to be dubbing that in. Uh, if they came by, that is. Uh, okay, what, what are we going to do here this morning? Well, I think what we should first do is, uh, you know, get the parts off of the upturned masking tape here. 
and uh, maybe put them, uh, take a look, a nice close look at some of them, get the uh, macro lens on. Uh, I think that they are probably about as uh, good as they can possibly get. Um, this this piece here, I used a lot more paint on it than I had hoped, but in order to be able to get in at, at an angle, I had to waste a lot. But I'm guessing, uh, I, I'm just guessing, but I would say at, at least five times as much paint passed through and into the uh, filters in the in the spray booth. Uh, that 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 is a downside of airbrushing. It is probably one of the few downside uh, uh, sides uh, compared to paint. You know, using a paintbrush, you you waste a lot of paint, and you and sometimes you just plain can't help it, <clears throat> unless unless it's something like the hull of a one two hundred scale ship or something really big. Uh, you, 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 most of the paint will hit that. Uh, however, enough about that. Uh, today, uh, I think that in order to be able to get some of these pieces down, for instance, uh, this piece, these three pieces here, they, they mount on, on here. So, but we've got to paint this first. I'll use the brush for that. Uh, and we'll be painting them uh, some kind of brown. Uh, to sort of represent wood. Uh, yeah, and then I guess I guess what we're going to be doing here is uh, uh, dropping a, a lot of these pieces down on on this. This is ready to go. These are ready to go. Now. I just noticed this this is the same paint I thought that okay now these pieces are the six and okay well that's that's kind of disappointing they're not gonna stand out well they, they sort of will but not the way I had planned I in my mind I thought that this was a different color so these these pieces are not gonna stand out I'm I'm almost wondering if I should. You know they 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 do stand out if you put them against a, a bulkhead like this that's painted to three thirty eight, then they really stand out. I I I didn't notice that. I thought that this was the seventy seven, which is a darker. Uh, I have to think about that. Okay, let's think about it. So, okay, I got curious here and I was thinking, well, how is it that I never noticed that before? So what I've done is I've taken the, uh, the shell or the hull and I'm using it as a jig to hold these first two modules that we completed. We're working on the, on the, uh, uh, the third module right now. I think there's I think there's six altogether, and at first I was thinking, well, I I didn't paint these the same color this way, and but I'm realizing now that if if I take and get the the light hitting this at the same angle, you you can see that yes, it's it is the same color. Um, it it was this was the sixty six, at least I th I think it is. Anyway, what I'm getting at here is these first two modules did not have a lot of little parts being dropped down. Now it did have stuff like this. This is obviously not the uh, this is this is obviously not the 66. This is something else. I, sh I should have written it down what it was. It it's it's one of the uh, well, it may be the painting, painting and marking guide. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, I'm still sort of wondering what I'm going to do here. Um, see if I can get the the light to angle just without these falling out here. Okay, now is this is this the same paint? 
Yeah, yeah, it's 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 the same. Okay. Alrighty. Another little, uh, you know, it's not it's not a huge thing, but uh, it sort of makes me wonder: should I maybe be uh, painting these in another color so that they stand out? And yet, and yet, I'm sure they they will stand out anyway, but just not the way I had hoped. Okay, I have, uh, you might say, wasted quite a bit of time here. Uh, first of all, the main reason is I couldn't find this piece. And I, I was uh, kind of worried. Did I leave it attached to the R sprue? Because it's an R piece. And did I throw it out? I mean, when you can't find something, all of a sudden crazy thoughts start going through your head. Anyway found it. Uh, these pieces right here have been painted the 335, which I uh, apparently have quite a bit left here. And um, I am thinking at this point that maybe in order to get them to get these pieces to stand out, maybe I should just quickly respray them. I won't bother videoing it or anything like that. I'll just quickly do it and get it done going to set, set me back about an hour or so, but hey, uh, that's, that's all right. Um, yeah, I, otherwise, uh, otherwise these, these pieces are just going to sort of blend in. This, we're, we're, we're working on this piece right here, and uh, that's where they have to drop down onto. And then, yes, we'll keep using the number 66, but only on pieces that are going to be put against the the side of, of a bulkhead like this that has been painted with a 338. Like, it's pretty hard for you to see that at the angle, but, but that stands out really nicely. And and some, some of these other parts are way back in here. They, they stand out quite nicely against that. They are the 66, which is what this was. Um, okay, so I just have to, you know, pay attention when I'm you know, as to what what kind of parts am I going to be painting? Am I going to be painting uh, decking decking parts or or bulkhead parts? Um, okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly respray these, and uh, yeah, I, I just don't know what else to say here. The, the day is marching on, and I want to get out. Okay, here's what's happened. I have probably spent the last hour or so repainting these parts with the 335. And I think that uh, they should contrast a little bit against the uh, 66, which is what this deck is. Yeah, they are, they are somewhat lighter. Yeah, uh, then it's it's not dry yet. Uh, I think probably because the uh, paint retarder had been used. Uh, at least that's what I'm thinking. And uh, so the parts that were done with the uh, 338, which is which is this color, and the contrast with that as well. So uh, yeah, that that's the whole idea. So that these things show up. At least that's that's my idea because I'm not worried about. You know, having it exactly right. Um, okay, so that's what we've been doing here. Uh, you know what? I just realized I have not done any editing yet this morning. Not the opening scene. Not when Missy came to the door. <laughs> yeah, nothing. So I'm going to have to go work on that for a while. dog. Huh? Oh, what a beautiful day. Yeah, it is nice. Okay, here we come. Here we come. It's coming. It's coming. I hope you like this flavor. There you go. You gonna take it outside? You're on a short leash, miss. Remember. You're on a short leash, miss. How was the night, Ron? 
It went good. You two. You got to an eight o'clock meeting and chatted with people. God from Alabama, Utah. Yeah, the internet has made it a small world. Yes. Here, Missy, look, 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 there's one. There, I think you got it all. You missed one over here too, Miss. Oh, Missy, you missed one. Wait, here. Wait, wait, here, wait, here. Here, look. Here. <laughs> oh, Uncle Ron, you're the greatest. Yeah. Am I the greatest? You're the greatest, Uncle Ron. Yeah. yeah was, wasn't that uh, Muhammad Ali's with, I'm the greatest or something? I am the greatest. Yeah. He was, oh, he was so excited. Oh, let's land on that. Ball four paws. Boom. Boom. Oh, nice day for motorcycling today. Yeah, I just opened up the box. Even already, it's warm enough, you know? It is, yeah. Yeah, I, I would probably have to uh, dress, though, in my uh, warm stuff, though. Oh, yeah, the it's breeze a, is going to be cool. It's a cool wind. Well, now that you're going 60 miles an hour, you know? <laughs> yeah, bundle up. That's not going to be every day. <laughs> Okay, it looks to me like these pieces are pretty much dry. And this piece here, well, I'm sure it's dry because we painted it yesterday. was coming, didn't you? No, let's not cut yourself, Ron. This is the last of the eight pieces that I made, oh, I guess seven or eight weeks ago now. I think the next pizza will be a little bit more traditional. You'll probably be able to see little round pieces of pepperoni on the top of it. Mm. Okay, we are back to where we were first thing this morning when I thought we would be dropping parts down and uh, yeah we got sidetracked badly didn't we but I think this is gonna contrast a little better well somewhat better um, well, it doesn't go there anyway it goes over here doesn't it Okay, if I get the lighting right, I, I can see it looking straight down on it here that there's quite quite a noticeable difference uh, in, in the shade <clears throat> from the, the deck to, to this. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, too much pizza, I guess. Anyway, here's what's happened. I got a phone call, oh, going on half an hour ago now, and somebody's going to be coming over and having coffee with me. So I've got a winder up. And also I'm noticing that the clouds are starting to roll in and the weatherman is predicting I think a 30% chance of uh, showers later today. And I have been waiting uh, all, all uh, winter long for, this, for these days. And I know you're sick of hearing me say it, but I want to get out. And uh, so I'm going to wrap her up for today. I had hoped that today would be a special day because it was uh, episode 2000. But, uh, well, I guess, uh, you know, it's just another number, isn't it, when you stop to think about it. Um, if I remember, I will put the link to episode number one of the model ship uh, in the description of today's episode for anybody that wants to see, you know, uh, what, what we did in episode number one. 
And what was it all about? And uh, yeah, in episode number one, I had no idea how things were going to go. I just had an idea of how I wanted them to go. Um, <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.